Hey, welcome to Stress Reduction TV. I'm your host, Stephanie D'Angelo, and I'm here to help you with whatever you need in order to reduce stress in real time. Whether you're working from home or taking on the role of homeschooling your kids, or whether you're just feeling a little bit of stress and anxiety for everything that's going on. Let's just take a few moments to get gather to where we are right here. So I'm inviting you to put up a sign that says don't disturb or I'm in a meeting or just give me 10 minutes um, and make a commitment to yourself to bring wellness and stress reduction into your life, into your everyday routine. So we're going to take a few moments. We're just going to gather here. If you notice, I'm sitting outside in my backyard. Um, if you get a chance to do that uh, in your work day, it's a great way to put the do not disturb sign out is if you're not in your office. So take a few moments, come outside, get some fresh air. Um, I can hear the birds. I don't know if you can hear the owl um, singing in the background. And it's just a good feeling to get the fresh air into your lungs and to be able to just, you know, make a little break. Listen, if you were at work, you'd have to get up and use the bathroom or go to the water cooler, get a coffee, something. So if you can make just stepping outside for a few moments, put your feet on the grass. Just, I have a yard and I just walk right around the pool. Uh, I take the dogs out, do something like that. But for now, we're just going to learn how to sit and or stand, whatever you're doing and gather let's just gather our body mind um, our emotions there's a lot of fear that's happening right now because of all the coronavirus media and and it's scary and people are getting really sick so to acknowledge the fact that we're going through something collectively this is really a collective trauma that we're experiencing everyone uh, forced to work from home whether you like that or not the truth of the matter is when people are stressed they seek social comfort and here we have this uh, national social distancing uh, for a good reason to you know kind of squash the curve but the truth is by nature we are uh, beings that want to connect when we feel stressed especially uh, research shows especially women uh, desire to do that. So how can we uh, take this situation and maybe go a little bit inward to acknowledge what's going on, how our body's feeling, how our mind, not just the stress from work, but the stress from the external world. Maybe we can uh, practice and if you stick with me, I'll show you uh, lots of ways, skills, how to uh, figure out how to work with what's going on in the world, whether it's chaos or, or kindness or whether it's something good or unpleasant, how to work with whatever's happening. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just gather, gather our body, our mind, and see if you can feel your feet. And no matter what happens, no matter what you hear, whatever may uh, you know trigger you to start thinking of all these different scenarios, and think about that. We've probably all done it, uh, the potential scenarios of what could be. Um, let's just come back to the feet. Let's just feel the feet. The feet are right here, and my feet are right here uh, in the grass right now, and I can feel my feet. And it's very hard to get caught up in a whole bunch of different scenarios, or maybe it's a work situation, uh, in your mind, create this whole big scenario and movie in your mind when you're focusing on your feet, when you can feel every bit of the surface area of your feet on the floor. So let's see if we can try to do that now together. So we could maybe even notice like how's the breathing? How does the body actually feel? So we'll notice and maybe we could even um, uh, describe it to ourselves first. It's a door that we go through, this kind of cognitive acknowledgement. The breath is short. The chest feels heavy. 
and I'm just giving you an example of what you know what I'm feeling in this moment and yours will be whatever yours is and there's no wrong in it whatever it is for you so just acknowledging what the breath is without quite changing it just yet and we do want to notice things first notice how they feel before we dive right in and try to change them because this is what's happening all the time whether we pay attention to it or not so it's really important to open and expand our field of awareness and just know that everything's included like the barking dogs and the singing owl all included that's what's happening along with the way the breath moves through the body along with what's happening on the news and social media and online all those things are happening and my feet are right here on the ground and so while my attention goes to different things which is the way the attention moves I also have my feet planted right here on the ground and I'm going to also start to extend my exhalation. A nice long exhalation. And as we do that, it just starts to relax the body a little bit. And then feeling the breath move through the body and feel the feet on the floor. And you might notice your mind might not be that interested because there's so many pressing things in our mind internally and externally the desk piled high with things to do and the kids and all those things in the external world. But those things will be there, I promise you. They're not going anywhere. So what we do is we just feel the feet. See if you can feel the weight of your body in the chair. Can you feel how gravity draws you down right towards the earth? And yet you can hold yourself up. We don't just collapse on the floor because of the force of gravity. We can hold ourselves up. And this really tells the body and the mind we're doing something here. We're not just slumped down in the chair because we're exhausted, which we may be. But we're holding ourselves up. We're holding the body in a attention. And our intention is to be present in this moment. Can you feel the feet? The whole surface area of both feet touching the floor. The weight of the body in the chair. And the breath moving through the body. starts to bring thoughts or memories or ideas or anxiety or fear. Come back to the feet. We acknowledge all of these things. We say, ah, there's fear. And then come back to the feeling of the feet touching the ground. And the weight of the body in the chair as you hold yourself up an attention in the body. We're telling the body we're doing something. We're actually resetting and becoming present and expanding our field of awareness. So when we hear the birds or the kids or the dogs barking, that we are just acknowledging 
But all of these distractions are part of it. They all belong. We could even say, if something like that happens and it makes it hard for us to stay present to feel the feet or the body or the breath, we could say, ah, oh, yeah, kids playing, this belongs. Sounds in the background, yeah, this, this too belongs. Everything's included. We can have all of these distractions and all of these things that take our attention away and we just draw it back, right back to the feet, right back to the body. This body is a processor. See if we can take just a few minutes, a few moments, because our time is ending here. Just to be quiet and still. I encourage you to continue to meet this silence with whatever curiosity you can muster up and to feel how it feels to be quiet just for a few moments to reset during the day. And if you can continue, then enjoy. Let me know how you're feeling in the comments section below, or you can email me at stressreductionsteph at gmail.com. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Take care.